Hi everybody, welcome to my channel and today I'm going to take you as normal, little fried sauce, little sort of whistle stop through my week and uh, let's get cracking. So what have I been making? Last week I think on the vlog I was wearing this t-shirt that I'd got at Primark. It is a little bit creased because it's about to go through the wash. I just rescued it. Um, so my favourite thing to do at the moment is to hack t-shirts so you can see I use the sagebrush um, sleeves from Friday Pattern Company, you could use any sleeve and I just cut it out across the seam and I love it because a few of you have been hacking your t-shirts um, Mags who came to the last Sunday saw to um, from Scotland said she's done the same with the Bob Dylan t-shirt I think she said and something else but she's done it as a raglan sleeve which I thought was a great idea and um, so yeah so that needs to go in the wash and um, so yeah because it's going in the wash so what else did I do? I, I went through my wardrobe again and thought, right, what do I need for holiday? I know you're going to be, you're going to be like, when are you just going to get on that plane, Alison? It's coming fairly soon. Um, but I thought, I love dresses. I'm always wearing dresses. This is a dress. If you're thinking, what are you wearing today? Because I'm rubbish at telling you. This is literally, um, the fabric was from Pound Fabrics, I think, last year. Um, I know a few of you have seen it. I've seen it on your vlogs and pictures. Um, it's lovely, like a... I'm going to say a cotton or a viscose chalet. I'm not sure what it what it was, but um, I made it as a sagebrush top. And then I made a skirt using the Friday Pattern Company Davenport skirt. But skirts and me just don't work, so eventually I just joined it together. I'll drop a picture in, but I just put a little cheeky drawstring in of just this sort of woven tape. And... Um, yeah, and I quite like it. It's got a ruffle on the bottom. You'll see on the picture when I drop that in. So it's working for me much better as a, a dress. Um, it's not something I reach for every week, but sometimes, yeah, I just think, oh, I'll chuck that on. It's quite nice. Um, so what I have made is two of the same thing, really simple to do, just those pull-on dresses that I need from round the pool. Um, I've shared these fabrics with you before. Does anybody else do this? You make something and then you pick it up and you think, oh, why is that cotton there? And you know I'm going to have to cut it now because otherwise this is proper live, live sewing uh, with Alison. There you go. The most exciting thing you will see or do today. Me using a pair of scissors. Um, so, which one did I make first? It doesn't matter. Anyway, this is fabric that I got from Rainbow Fabrics Kilburn. I've shared it before. Um, it's a viscose. When I got it, it was flat. Then I washed it. And it went crinkly. Where's the camera? There you go. I think it's a... I call it a... I don't know what print I call it. And I'm going to sneeze. You don't really need to see that, do you? So... I will edit that out. So yeah, but I've done the sharing um, as usual on my cover stitch machine. I've just done a rolled hem on the bottom. So the way that I do these is I just do double width of the fabric. Um, like join it together so there's a seam. So I, I do the sharing as one long piece. I've already got the skirt attached. It makes it absolutely so much faster. The first thing that I do is... Um, and I zigzag this because I was trying out my, my vintage machine here. So I just turned it under and prepped the channel right across the top. Because I just find that easy to do before you do the sharing. Um, which is why I tend to attach this, have the skirt all in one piece. So it's literally just, I think this was a two metre length of fabric. And then I do, I feel like I'm not explaining this to you. I just do the rectangle and work down it. Um, with the sharing and then when I get to the length that I'm happy with I just stop and then I usually gauge it depending on the fabric and the width of the fabric how much do I need to take off one side and I just sew that um, down put the elastic through the top done so rolled hems I love I do want everything wherever possible on my overlocker it's my favorite thing to do because I'm absolutely born idle and lazy I do occasionally hem things up but you know I'm sitting here thinking this dress that I'm wearing today yep rolled hem I just love them because most of the fabric I use is viscose and it just works on it and um, so this was the other one that I made this fabric was from Rainbow Fabrics Kilburn now I'm always honest about my sewn feels the sewn bit isn't a fill but the steaming of the um sharing elastic which you do at the end to bring it together just kind of was a little bit because it didn't have a pressing cloth on so lesson learned uh, and it melted the fabric 
can you see there's these little holes but actually when it goes together i could put a couple of stitches in it i guess uh, when it goes together i've tried it on you can't see it but i am quite mindful that i can't go near anything with you know direct heat with that um so i'm not sure if that'll come on holiday we don't smoke but i'm just kind of thinking if i'm near anybody who has a cigarette that could just that would be a disaster not for the dress for me and um, so that might be a wear at home in the garden pull on instead that one so what else have i made oh yes where's my little slither of fabric gone i'll just dive in my scrap bin instead my scrap bin that's for the closet core puff that I've been talking about for two years and I've still not made. So, um, Ru Ruan and I, the, Ruan the Oxford Soul Girl, I'm sure most of you follow her channel anyway, and um, we're doing a sewing collaboration with this fabric and literally <laughs> this fabric. So this was from Rainbow Fabrics Kilburn and we are at Sawtoon. She's travelling up on Sunday. So I'll see her there. We're going to do our little photo shoot. She's finished her dress. I think she shared with everybody she's done a Shelby. I've been, been a bit more secretive about mine. I don't know why. Because when you see it, you'll probably go, yeah, we knew you were going to do that, Pat and Addison. But this, we're both saying what beautiful fabric this is. It's a, a viscose chalet i don't know if i'm even saying that right which is that yellow dress behind is which is on previous vlogs going back quite a while now maybe about nine months started off as an indigo dress then became no didn't it start as a lyra dress and then became an indigo dress all is explained on those videos and um, but as a fabric it could be one of my favorite fabrics because it feels like the softest cotton but it's not cotton it's viscose so i love that dress is finished might shorten it slightly and um, it's very maxi length i'm not sure i think i'd have to shorten it to wear it in the winter because otherwise it would be sort of trailing on the floor so i might do that <coughs> before or after holidays i'm just gonna... so what else have i done yeah do you know what yesterday was carl's birthday and we had such a lovely uh, evening his mum and dad came over, um, Tyler, his son and his, son and his partner, Jace, came over. My daughter, Naira, came over. Um, and I was half Turkish, so she really shared a Turkish um, heritage, did a bit of research, and she made the most beautiful food. Um, so she made homemade, made like Turkish bread. Um, she marinated chicken in all the, the spices and the yoghurt. She uses... Um, dairy free so she used fat free soya yogurt in it and honestly it worked absolutely amazing i'll drop some pictures in she also did um like oven roasted aubergine and then did a like a vegetarian um tomato based just mildly seasoned really tasty um, to like almost stuff it but it was baked in it in the oven i made some kazia which is made out of bulgur wheat which is one of my favorite turkish dishes if you've been to a turkish restaurant you're bound to have had it and um, i did put a little bit too much chili and i was a little bit worried and um, but i think it was okay and um, carl's mum doesn't need very much so i gave her a little bit to try and she went yeah it's fine so i was like okay i'm all right i haven't kind of <laughs> killed everybody off with it oh and to start she made the most beautiful hummus with some caramelized onions on top am i making you hungry i'm gonna put some pictures in and then maybe a little video but it was absolutely beautiful and um, so yeah i didn't i did a little bit of typing stuff yesterday and um, related to my sewing school so when you're watching this tomorrow friday is the first day I'm properly nervous, but I'm so excited to get started. And the, the guys that are coming on the course are really excited as well. I've sorted out which patterns we use and I paid the license for it today. Um, I've been in touch with Flamingo Prints, to um, my favourite printing company, to get those patterns printed and ready. Um, and yeah, can't wait. So tomorrow is a basics course, how to set up thread a machine, what it all means, and to just make a little bit of something to leave with. Um, so it's a two hour session tomorrow. So I'm really excited to get started with that. And hopefully, I'm sure they'll let me um, maybe take some pictures. Um, I'll take some pictures of how I'm setting the kind of the space up, but I'm sure they'll let you sure they will so hopefully i'll have that to share with you next week and um, and also i should let you know as well the collaboration with ruan we're going to share that um 
on the 18th of September is the planned date for that to share. So talking about collaborations, you'll remember I mentioned this fabric a couple of weeks ago um, that I'm doing a collaboration with Adele who was so for Serenity. Um, she's got it as well. I've mentioned it before. It's We're not sure what it is. It's a River Island dead stock, but we don't know what sort of fabric is. Nobody does that's got it. It was £2.50 a metre. We both got three metres. Now, I was going to make some Suero pants with it, but I think they'll be a bit too bulky around my waist, and I'm probably not going to wear them. Um, so I've made a decision. I think Adele might be doing the same jacket, but we're both very different sort of shapes and dynamics. So it'll yeah, it'll be interesting to see how it works out. I'm gonna try and do um a Friday pattern company Heather Blazer as long as I can get out of three meters, um because obviously if it was a long length coat it would take four. The reason I've changed my mind is because of that I probably wouldn't wear the trousers and. I do need a winter coat and I've won a voucher um, I've mentioned previously for First for Fabrics and I've hung on to it thinking I'll get some coat fabric. But then I went in a cupboard and found like a fake fur coat that I got last year when I was at Edinburgh and we were freezing for my birthday at the end of September. Um, yeah, I'll just drop that in. A few more weeks to go, birthday! Um, so I thought... I'm probably going to just chuck that on. I'm not, I, I love the look of full length coats, but I'm often kind of in and out the car or just nipping over to work and I put like my work fleece sort of thing on. So I thought I'm just going to make this into a coat um, and line it. It won't be the warmest of winter coats, but it's more than likely just something that I'm going to chuck on with a scarf. So that's where I'm at currently could change, but we've revisited the time scale because Adele's really busy with a couple of projects in September. Obviously, I'm away, so there's no rush for a winter coat. And I feel like I've got loads to do. I don't know why I'm saying it like that, but I am starting to feel a bit like, ah, I haven't got very long. So, I've had to home in on my plans. If you go back uh, probably about six weeks to my August, September makes, I had a real long list. But in reality, some of the fabrics that are on this shelf behind, they just don't need to get made for this holiday. There is absolutely no reason why I need to sort of churn out a few dresses to take because I've got absolutely enough to take in my wardrobe. So I've just decided they're going to drop into kind of my more autumnal winter makes or even makes for next summer. So I have cut the today well yesterday that was an absolute lie straight away wasn't it this fabric which was i think it was from rainbow fabrics last year you know in the summer it's like a georgette type of i don't know what you call this fabric um it will be slightly shorter than i wanted it to be and that's because when i cut the front pieces and then i lifted them up and then when like that I went what have i done with that it had just moved so the next time i cut it because it does shift i used pins and um, rather than random pattern weights like you know i'll use anything like a pair of scissors we pin tin anything so i have cut this it's clipped together ready to go and um, and i've cut it out as the original friday pattern company Sawero top so that plunge top and then i've just done some um rectangles for the skirt that i'm going to gather in and um, because this is just gonna i'm gonna have a go in in this fabric and see what it's like just as a a throw over and um, probably put a little bit of elastic or something like that in the the waist if i need to i'm not bothered if it's loose it's what i'm going to chuck on just to go to the loo or to the bar for drinks so i'm i'm hoping to get that made up probably today and then i've got I'm not going to model this as a hat again the bikini top that i mentioned last time i've got the bottoms cut in this fabric and um, i'm lining it in the same fabric but i didn't quite have enough fabric to line it all so for the lining i've joined yeah um, oh God. i'm so random maybe i'll edit that out i don't know um does anybody else have like a childlike desire to just do random stuff or is it just me um so yeah, so I should be able to get those made up because I want to see how they look together um, and if they look a bit pants well. Yeah, so when I do it, um, I'm just going to base the pieces together, put them on and if it doesn't work then I'll use these as a lining for um, the rainbow swim fabric that I've mentioned before, which I wasn't going to make but if that doesn't work I probably will. Hope he's still with me. Are you still with me? So... 
Um, when we're on our family date, Time Health, I did slip into Razbaz Fabrics because I have a little secret project on the go, which you're probably thinking, when are you going to tell us what this is? And I don't, I honestly don't know if I'm allowed to tell you or I'm not, but I'm kind of trying to keep it a secret till it happens because it's the first time I've done this. But I'm going to share the fabric because I need something that's going to stand like just sort of stand out on the photos and I picked this up at Raz Baz Bazaar which is um Raspberry Bazaar but Raz Baz Fabrics is the Instagram so you can order from there they've not got a website and I think this will just work but I'm not telling you what it is yet so I've got four meters of that all together just in case I need a little bit extra I have got some autumn fabrics on there that I could use but I'm thinking this will look quite nice and I'll probably take it away with me as well um I don't know, I think it's a viscose, it's quite drapey, very soft. Um, yeah, so I'm going to aim, I think, to start cutting that out today. Have I covered everything? Ooh, I think I might have. Um, so yeah, machines, where we at? Vintage one has arrived, the vintage vintage. So that when I put that through the singer, um, database it came up as 1956 and I thought oh, that can't be correct for a hand crank machine when this electric one was like in the 60s and you know there'd been quite a few electric machines by then but it, it, it is correct they stopped making them in 1958 I've done a, bit, a little bit of research um, so yeah it's quite interesting isn't it and um, Carl's that's turned into a Carl project so he's freed up the hand wheel he has got the needle up and moving up and down he's not sure if it's been dropped at some point I hope it doesn't didn't get dropped on somebody's foot because my goodness they are heavy um but yeah so we're just getting that kind of a bit more off and running it's a project you know I only ever wanted it as display because I think it looks pretty and um, but it would be really nice to get it running. So I'm just letting him run with it. He loves a bit of a project, does Carl. And I love him to bits. So, yeah, quite happy to let him crack on with that, really. Um, so, yeah, as usual, let me know what you're up to. Let me know what you're making. Um, have you moved into autumn stuff yet? What are you doing? How are you getting sorted out? What are your plans? Let me know. Um, two weeks ago on Friday, so Jen's question was about how you store your fabric. This is my fabric and um, some of it's a bit still sort of crafty stuff that I, I've got on the go and um, but I use these comic boards they're not quite a four size and um, where's the camera there um, and I literally just would fold this up I usually put the salve edges together fold it up so that it's ready to just pull out and start to um, cut on my cutting table which is oh almost two metres long over there which is brilliant I absolutely love it and um, so I, I think I've got a pack of a hundred of these on Amazon and when the pack comes it's about that thick and you think well they're not very sturdy but they're surprisingly sturdy so all my fabric is um, stored on those back there and um, and I think the other question was are you a, maybe a cutter of a pattern or a tracer what are you I'm a cutter I hate tracing and does anybody use projector files? That's another question I've got for you because I'm sure if I said to Carl I need a projector and I could use projector files there would be one installed over there because he, he loves anything like that but a lot of companies don't make projector files yet so I'm just interested. Is Does anybody use them? If you do make some comments let me know. So that's it. I'm off to go make, do um, and I will catch up with you all really soon. So thanks for stopping by. Have an amazing week and bye for now.